Well, then on this tech tube, yeah, start over. That was horrible. This tech tip Tuesday, let's talk batteries and how not to disconnect them and the way to reconnect them. So we're gonna show you here today. Okay, so the battery's hiding up here in this corner on this vehicle. So this is the red, symbolizes the hot side. And on vehicles for quite a few years, they've been negative ground. The negative is hiding back there. So this one is the positive one. If I were not to be aware of it, not think about it, I could walk up to here and I put this wrench on this positive side. Well, if it just wrench just so happened to touch the fender at the same time I've got it on the end of that battery, sparks will fly. So, you know, not good. So if you're gonna remove the battery, this one, being the hot one, if the wrench goes that way, you got a problem. Now, if you go to this one first and the wrench touches the frame, it touches the battery post at the same time, nothing happens. You can do that Be right now. Touch because, it. Yeah, do because, thing, you can touch that wrench. Because, because this is supposed to be connected to this right now. That's mm -hmm. what makes the system work. So when you're taking it out, you take this one off first. Then once that's removed, now when you come in here with the wrench, the wrench is not going to draw any sparks unless you happen to have a big, long, bent one that goes all the way back there. <laughs> <laughs> you got other problems. So right. that's how a battery should be removed to be safe about it. You don't have any surprises, sparks, burnt wrenches. Right, because you don't have a complete circuit anymore. If that negative's off, the positive's still on, it won't matter because if you touch it, it's not a complete circuit. Yep. So now when we go back in, we kind of do an opposite. So that when I'm, which one am I going to connect up first? If I were, if I were to connect that one up first, then I'd be back to this problem, potential of a problem up here. So when you're putting it back in, you hook this one up first, get it tightened down. Then you go back here and you can tighten up this one. And that way you don't get flashed. <laughs> don't get burnt or blow up yourself for the battery. So... That's a good tip. Yeah. Always tinkering, playing, sharing information or knowledge. Some of the stuff I've learned the hard way, he probably has too. Um, it arc welds. It's a bad deal. And you can get burned or even worse, blow the battery up. So that's not a good day. So this little thing is going to save you some headaches and burn up your fancy ratchet in case you do arc it together because it will weld a gear together in a ratchet. Ask me how I know. Uh, but nonetheless, share these little tips with you. We've got plenty more coming your way, and we'll catch you all next time.